On this day, we've just heard a wonderful story from our Bible, from our family al album, as it were, the baptism of Jesus in the River Jordan. With the heavens opening, a dove descending upon him, Holy Spirit, that is, and the words, you are my son, the beloved. With you I am well pleased. It's a terrific story. And once a year, on the very first Sunday after the Epiphany on January 6th, we remember this story as told by Mark, what you heard today, Matthew and Luke. So what I want to do, though, is say, yeah, that was a story long ago. You and I have a baptism, too, perhaps long ago. And day by day, we live into the covenant that we've made and remade and renewed and renewed again. And we strive day by day to live into the promises we have made God. In fact, did you hear that in the collect with which we began our prayers? Grant that all who are baptized into the name of Jesus may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior. Indeed, may we keep the covenant we have made. And in a moment, actually in just a few moments, we will renew that covenant. And that covenant begins by asking, do you believe in God the Father? Do you believe in God the Son? Do you believe in God the Holy Spirit. For this is our tradition, generation upon generation, including our own, and being passed on to the generations to come. Believe in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the Father, the one who creates. In the Son, the one who took our mortal flesh, gave up that life, died on a cross, rose again and ascended into heaven, and as we say in the creed, will come again to judge the living and the dead. And the Holy Spirit, the one who sanctifies us, the one who connects us to those who have gone before, those who are living now, and indeed those who will come after us. We believe, we trust in this faith handed on to us. It is part of our covenant that we accept and trust these words enough to live by them. After our profession of faith in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we are asked a series of questions. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship in the prayers, in the breaking of the bread, and in the prayers? Will you persevere in resisting evil and whenever you fall into sin, will you repent and return to the Lord? Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ, the one you proclaim Lord and Savior? Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? Will you strive for justice and peace among all people? Respect the dignity of every human being. To each of those questions we answer, I will, with God's help. And I think that's really important to recognize that it takes our decision, I will, I will do this, my heart is in it, my mind is in it, my body is in it, I will do this. And then the acknowledgement, but I can't do it on my own. I will myself to do this, but I require God's grace. I require God's help. So together, with God's help, I will do these things, continue in the apostles' teaching, persevere in resisting evil, 
repenting when that is necessary, proclaiming by word and example the good news of God in Christ, seeking and serving Christ and others, loving my neighbor as myself, striving for justice and peace, and respecting the dignity of every human being. These are things that are within our grasp with God's help. So my prayer is, as you remember the baptism of Jesus, as you remember your own baptism, in a moment as you renew your covenant, you will take it seriously. And you will invite God to assist you in living up to and into your covenant. When we finish the prayers of the people, which also acknowledge this, our own baptism, we'll pray this way. Heavenly Father, we thank you. And indeed, every day needs to be a thanksgiving. We thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit, you have bestowed upon us your children, your beloved children, the forgiveness of sin, and that you've raised us to a new life of grace. And then we ask, help us this way. Sustain us by the presence of your Holy Spirit. Give us an inquiring and discerning heart. Grant us the courage to will and to persevere in our covenant. Give us also a spirit to know and to love you. And then the part I really like, grant us the gift of joy and wonder in all your works, including me as I live out the covenant. And by me, I mean you. As you live out the covenant, may you have joy and wonder in all of God's works. Amen.